Next on Gallery, after graduating from the University of Florida's College of Fine Arts, Frank Curtis began building his suitcase art and has continued to do so for almost 20 years. These suitcases represent many of his life's travels, trials, and tribulations. A suitcase brings up a wealth of questions. Does it indicate travel? What's in it? Who does it belong to? You may not get the answers to all of these questions, but Frank hopes you will take some time with each suitcase and enjoy the experience of curiosity. These are my boxes. They're a little mixture of everything. Uh, they do have a theatrical sort of appeal to them or, or feeling. I make stained glass that goes in them, so they're truly a mixed media bag of tricks. As you see, my bags are packed. The first piece actually was akin to this piece behind me. It was a smaller version of that, and I was on a trip. Um, I guess I was in the Caribbean, and my case broke, my suitcase broke. The uh, actual front of the suitcase cracked open, and uh, I just got the idea that, hey, that'd be kind of fun to open it up, make it a window into adventures. Sometimes the actual suitcases or the box dictate their own feeling, dictate their own uh, agenda, I guess. Um, I was sick a couple years ago with cancer and went through the whole surgery and radiation and everything, and so I have one uh, old doctor's medicine bag that I've turned into a, uh, a box, you know, about that experience uh, that allowed me to vent while I was doing it, while I was going through all that, I could think about things to put in this suitcase, uh, in this doctor's bag, to uh, fulfill all the things that were going on with me and that episode in my life. Well, I always hope that people will get something out of it. Sometimes people uh, read into it a lot of the same things that I get out of it that I put into it and sometimes they come up with things I never would have thought of <laughs> completely off the wall and uh, and I like that and uh, oftentimes they go oh, I don't understand it I kind of like it but I really don't understand it and you know that's their personal expression or journey they have to kind of sit down with it maybe for a while if they choose and just understand what what levels it's coming to them at, how it's communicating to them You know, I probably do one, one and a half suitcases a year maybe. It takes a long time to do them, so the evolution is slow. It's a very slow process. Um, I decide how I'm going to cut open the box. I do little sketches and ideas of exactly what that opening is going to entail, the shape. Um, sometimes how complicated, how simple it's going to be. and then. Oftentimes the actual fabric in the suitcase, I don't know if you know these old suitcases, but they have really neat colors on the outside sometimes, but on the inside the fabric has just got textures and light colors to them. And so that sort of starts to get a feel going because that's sort of a drapery to be used inside. And then over time, uh, a theme, if I didn't have a theme to begin with, it sort of starts to develop. You have the different perceptions we can change our point of view. There's everywhere from Asia to America, India, back to Japan, and it just allows us a different perspective on mankind. This is uh, an old motorcycle saddlebag that uh, has the same feel as a motorcyclist's uh, mask, nose, and grill on the front of the helmet. We put a fan in it to get a little uh, of that feel, you can feel the breeze in your face. This thing's been a lot of places. It looks like it fell down once or twice. Um, just the whole life that this has had on its own. I hope people get a feel for that. I really enjoyed this box. A friend of mine had left it on my uh, doorstep and I came home and found it. And it just, uh, that it was a look inside, just a way to look in and be calm and, and relaxed. And so I put a mirror in it and some images and it's just, opportunity to stop and look inside instead of always running around looking outside at all the crazy stuff. Well this one actually the 
suitcase material designated a lot about this piece. Kind of an ugly duckling. So I decided to turn it into something. I call it Let Me Out and there's this crazy duck trying to get out. I incorporated a little wire into the stained glass and painted it and some things. And I just uh, wanted to have a little fun with it. Not exactly knowing how it's gonna turn out is, is the fun part of any art process, in my opinion, any art project, is that you've got an idea of what you'd like to do. Sometimes the way you go about it is working. Sometimes it's not working at all, and you gotta scratch it and start over, or come up with a new angle or a new idea. And uh, so I guess the challenge is what I like about it. Trying to solve those problems is, is what keeps me excited and interested in it. A friend of mine at the Ice House Gallery called me up one day and said, Frank, I got 10 suitcases down here. You want them? <laughs> come get them. You can view all of Frank's suitcase art at the University of Florida's Wrights Union Gallery, where it will be displayed until Friday, February the 16th.